Many Democrats seem happy with Harris picking walls. Former President Donald Trump was also welcoming the decision. He's a very, uh, very liberal man, and he's a shocking pick, and I'm, I'm thrilled. I could not be more thrilled. He's not where the country is on anything. That is the same message that Senator J.D. Vance shared during his appearance in Eau Claire today. Our Jason Randler was there. Jason? Yeah, well, J.D. Vance accused the vice president, Kamala Harris, of not taking questions from the media. He said that she does not deserve a promotion to the White House and actually stole a line from his running mate saying she deserves to be fired. Now, Vance stood alongside employees here at Woolard International this afternoon. Vance taking note of the fact that Harris's plane arrived at the same time as his and said that plane will be his in a few months. He also accused Harris's administration of being soft on border protection, allowing dangerous fentanyl into the country. In addition, Vance said things like food and gas have become too expensive while Harris has been in office. Vance also responded to Walls' frequent comments calling him and former President Trump weird. Vance attempting to turn the tables after the Harris and Walls rally yesterday. I really do think that whatever Tim Waltz calls me, I mean, <laughs> talk, about, talk about weird with Tim Waltz. I don't know if you guys saw the rally yesterday, but afterwards, his wife comes up to him, and, and Tim Waltz does what any normal Midwestern guy would do, seeing his beautiful wife on stage after a speech. He gives her a firm handshake. Right? That's pretty weird. That's pretty weird. When I see my wife after a speech, I give her a hug and a kiss because I'm excited to see her, and she's my wife. These people have no leg to stand on. And after accusing uh, Harris of not taking questions from the media, he himself took several, primarily from reporters here in the Eau Claire area. Amelia. All right. Thank you, Jason.